We are continuing our WCC Summer Hangout Series. Today we are with Kendall McIntosh, Santa Clara goalkeeper. Welcome, Kendall. Thank you. Thank you. How's the summer going for you so far? It's going really well. We just brought the guys in for captain's practice, and, man, we're looking really good. Uh, hard sessions, lots of fitness, but it's going pretty well so far. And tell me about you personally, a little bit about what you've been doing this summer, because I know you've been traveling a little bit. Uh, indeed. I went to, I was in Mexico for a little bit, training there, and then I was also, I went to Chivas, USA, and I spent a week there with the uh, coaching staff and with the goalkeepers, and it was a great experience. Love the staff, love the team. It was awesome just for training, just to uh, get to see the level is, is an amazing experience. Great, and you've had some experience with the U.S. national teams. Tell us a little bit about that experience and what you've done with them. So uh, previously, I was with the uh, under-21s, I believe, in April, and that was just the first camp leading up to the Olympic team in uh, two years' time, I believe. And then before that, I was with the under-20s for the World Cup and World Cup qualifying. And then before that, I was with the under-17s for residency. Did you get to do a lot of traveling with those teams? Yeah, we traveled a lot. Uh, the under-20 World Cup was in Turkey. The qualifying was in Mexico. And then for the 17s, World Cup was in Mexico. Qualifying was in Jamaica. So that was that was awesome. Let's talk a little bit about Santa Clara soccer. Um, last season was your first season starting at goalkeeper. Tell us a little bit about that experience and what that first full season in goal was like for you. I think it did a lot for me for my confidence within college soccer as I hadn't played that much previously. And then I think uh, I grew a lot as the season went on. From the first game throughout, I think I grew every game. And I think uh, the players that were around me, we – uh, grew a bond, and that's really what you need in a good team. You need a strong bond, a strong uh, core group of players that uh, will grind out wins, and I think towards the end, that's what we were doing, and that's what we need to continue to do. All right, let's get to know you a little bit better. First of all, how did you start playing soccer? How old were you? And uh, tell us a little bit about that. I was, uh, I was four when I started playing. It was just recreational stuff, but then as I got older, when I was nine, uh, I believe that I went into um, club soccer, and <laughs> I wasn't good enough to play on the field. Initially, my brother was like, oh, he's got to play forward, he's got to play forward. But I went out there, couldn't do it. So uh, they stuck me in goal, and ever since then, I've, it's just kind of stuck with me. I mean, it worked out so far, so I love it so far. What is one thing that most people may not know about you? Maybe your teammates and your family know, but just your average run-of-the-mill person probably wouldn't know about you. I'm an avid fruit lover. Really? So, yeah, so when I go to the grocery store, probably three-fourths of the things I buy are fruit. <laughs> um, love berries, love watermelon especially, and um, love... Uh, Pomegranates. That's my thing. Pomegranates. Love nice. Pomegranates. Yeah. Have, you think, have you mastered the challenge of opening them well? Because that's pretty I, hard to do. I'm pretty good at it at this point. I would say almost a specialist coming up on master pomegranate <laughs> opener, but I mean, don't want to brag too much about my pomegranate exploits. But I mean, for those of us who have are totally clueless, can you explain the secret? Is there a secret? No. I mean, I don't think there's a secret, but uh, what you can do is you get the pomegranate, the little things that stick up out of the pomegranate, you peel those off. There's yeah. going to be a little white thing. You need to dig that out. Then put your thumbs in between and just peel it apart. And then okay. once you get there, what I do is I uh, peel the arrows into a cup. And then I kind of drink the arrows. And then it's it's easy and it's less messy. So. Yeah. All right, you've spent a couple years at Santa Clara now. What would you say is your favorite thing about attending that school? Um, probably just the culture, social culture. Um, really fun to just live here. A lot of great people, a lot of great students. Uh, the professors also, great people, easy to talk to, easy to get help if you need it. And then um, just the ability to, um, to do more if you want to do more, which I think is important because there's always going to be the group of people that, like, 
do the like minimum amount to get by. But then I think here there's there's a lot of people that uh, want to do more. There's always access for that, and I I really enjoy that here. Awesome. Well, Kendall, thanks so much for joining me, and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your summer. Thank you. You too.